step. He talked to our Archippus. He said, Archippus, to the ministry that you have received, take it. There are things God will not do for you. He will only show them to you. The grace of God has appeared to all men, but is not apparent in all men. The grace of God has appeared unto all men, but is not apparent in all men. Why? Because there are few that know how to maximize the grace. Tell somebody, take it, take it, take it. Say, take it, take it, take it, take it. Say, take it, take it. Please subscribe to the Demi Fruitful channel. He said, contest. Take it. Paul was advising young minister Timothy in 2 Timothy 3 16 17. He said, Take it. Am I speaking here? Take it. First Timothy 4 16. Take it. Take it to yourself. There are things to take it to. Number one, yourself. Yourself. Check your life. Are you growing? Every day you must check yourself. Go back to your old messages and listen to them. Are you growing? Check your prayer life. Are you growing? Assess your life. Are you spending more time on your phone? Take heed to yourself. If nobody tells you the truth, tell yourself the truth. Take it to yourself. Examine yourself. Second Corinthians 13 5. Examine. You're, you are just done that phone. Two hours, three hours, four hours. It's not a sign of growth, sir. It's not a sign of growth. Take it. Take it to yourself. Take it to yourself. What has your dream become? Check all your needs. Check all your needs. Check all your to-do list. Everything there is, is about yourself. Yourself. When you become worried about yourself more than about what God has given to you. Take it. Take it. How many people are crying, are weeping, are wailing because of your nonchalant attitude to them in the work? Take it. Take it to yourself. Take it to yourself. Take it to your marriage. Take it to your marriage. Take it to your marriage. You can't be saving the world and losing your wife. Saving the world and losing your home. Take it. Take it. Don't spiritualize that relationship with your wife. Naturalize it take it what happened to your mouth that you don't kiss that woman who cuss your mouth who cuss your mouth when i see pastors who can't play with their wife on the church they're trying to be spiritual in the house of god i can't hug my wife in the house of god is he a shrine god loves me more when i show my wife love take it Papa, what about that? What, what's she talking about? Don't I give her money? Sir, to have a balance of oh, it's not just finance, there must be romance. Take it to your marriage. When your wife is glowing. In fact, how many of you are not married? Raise your hand. You are not married. You are not married. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Put your hand down. Put your hand down. How many of you are married? Legally married, not room, not roommate. Take it. Make her happy. When your wife calls you, make her happy. Anyhow she wants, make her happy. Take it. You say you are waiting on the Lord, Pastor. You did one week fast, two weeks fast, three weeks fast, one month, two months, three months. Your wife said, Touch me. He said, No, you are carrying too many things on your body. Deliver. <laughs> Take it to your marriage. Take it. <laughs> you know, there are so many people. Oh, I should not. Okay. All right. Let me let me keep quiet then. We are saying Adam, first Adam, first Adam, first Adam, first Adam, he failed, first Adam, he failed. The first Adam's failure was connected to a marital failure. He succeeded in everything except marriage. So there can never be the restoration of the second Adam except we correct the error of the first Adam. 
and what the, what, what the second Adam did is to help you correct it status wise correct it in the spirit but it won't correct it in marriage it's left for you to correct it in marriage correct it in marriage kiss her hug her what happened what happened the wife is standing on the altar. It's, no, 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 no. There are women, they do everything to get close to the husband. No, 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 no. This is church. This is church. Really? <laughs> really? Ah! Take heed to your marriage! Take it. It is easy to raise children when you love their mother. It is easy. You don't struggle to raise children when you love their mother. It's easy. When you hate their mother, you lose your children. When they come for you. A pastor was about to warn his wife. The, the son held his hand. See if you try it. So came to me, says, ah, I'm seeing my own son. I say, hey, calm down. Before his son does that, you have not loved their mother. You call their mother names in their presence. And they are seeing you. And they know you are guilty. You call them names. They abuse your wife like crazy. It, members now know the way you abuse your wife. This happened. Your wife says, it's okay, it's okay. The same way to woman abusing the husband. Members know that you have no regard for your husband. Your husband says, please come to the house. Oh, you leave me. In public. You are looking for mic. Who will give you mic to preach? You are looking for you are looking for you are looking for special attention when that man has become nothing before you. You will finish the man. Calling the hey, <laughs> you, you say God call you. God did he call you? I know God did he call you. I'm just keeping quiet. When I will disgrace you, the man is dying. Can I say this to you? Many pastors, if they give them opportunity to repeat a partner, to repeat a partner, they will come close to that man. Can your husband look at you from his heart? Not that you just bought him a gift, from his heart. And say, if I'm to come to this life again, I'll still marry you. How many men can say that from their heart? How many? Some are managing their marriage. Then that home, just praying for God to do something. When a man has made a mistake in marriage and say, Oh Lord, do something. You don't know what that prayer means. Oh, you <laughs> he said, Lord, do something. He, don't, he, he, he doesn't want to verbalize it, but he has intentionalized it. Say, Father, do something. You have to correct this mistake. And there's only one way to correct it. Somebody has to go. <laughs> and the bad wives that lead down bad pastor's wife they live long i'm not joking bad pastor's wives they don't die no they can't die your prayer can't touch them because you are there they are like bulletproof you are in your room fire she said no way fire no way we are here we are here we are here say fire consume they will say i don't you fire I don't. if i should come to you she'll, she'll be laughing after you finish praying, she will hug you, shake you in her mind and neutralize whatever you thought. <laughs> Your marriage! Praise God. Uh -uh. Your wife has not been at home morning till night. You can't call her. Your wife can even leave the house for three days. Not take a single call from you. She come back, welcome. She's leaving, bye bye. She come back, welcome. Sometimes my wife leaves the house, comes to the church, and she's in church. I harass her life. Where are you? He said, I'm in church. Okay. I call again. What are you doing? Ah. He said, I'm still in church. Okay. After two hours. Are you still in church? He said, My husband, wait. Oh, what is the matter? I said, No, I'm just, I need to know. Because there's no way this rapture will happen that I didn't go. It's not possible. If I didn't go, it doesn't happen. <laughs> Where are you? 
After all, I say, okay, tell my daughter, talk, talk to your father. After all, she comes home. One time I came into a career, came to church, I said, follow me. Follow. This work does not finish. Follow me. <laughs> and there are women that all kinds of people. And let me shock you. <laughs> we live in a world that has become so devilish. That you don't give that woman attention. One day you know somebody else will give her attention. There are many pastors who move to certain pastors with their wives in mind. With their children in mind. With their pulpits in mind. With their cars in mind. With their help. Imagine what the pastor told me. He said, Apostle, if you love me, I should know all you. All, I should know everyone you know. I should know everyone you know. I should know all you know. I said, the kind of love that will make me tell you all I know is not love. It's stupidity. It's everybody that is your son that God has blessed. You are supposed to introduce me to them. And I ask myself, how many people do you know that I know? That was where our friendship ended. I said, the mistake you are making is that you think these are the people giving me what I'm giving. No! Sincerity is a currency. Honesty is a currency. Take it. See, I'm, I'm preaching another message inside this message. <laughs> inside this message. You understand it now? I'm preaching. I've preached three messages now. I must preach all those messages. It will not waste too. <laughs> Me, all the time that I spend writing messages, it will waste. I will jam the remaining messages. And I will do it in one hour, man, maximum one hour. It can't waste. I'll, I'll be preparing for conferences in January. Then you just come, you just go like that. No, you will hear it. <laughs> Somebody say, take it to your marriage. The best. Stop telling your children, do this, do this. No, show it. Show it. Let them see you doing it. Let them see you doing it. It's easy. Children learn more from pictures. Growing up, what do you show them? Pictures, cartoons. Become the first picture they see. The first picture that they see. The first picture that they see. Take it to your health. You can be choppy and be healthy. So weight is not a crime as much as bad health. Eating everything as a pastor is, 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 signing, is, is signing out your, your life. Juice, 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 pack juice, 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 can't drink, can't drink. You are, you are just, you are, you are just signing a contract with cancer. All kinds of muco into your system. You eat anything. Take it to your health. Watch what you eat. Watch what you eat. Taking a lot of fluid. You are always preaching and sweating. Taking a lot of fluid. Drink water. Take it to your health. Am I communicating now? Many ministers are dying of several diseases. It's not an affliction of the devil. It's carelessness. Take it to your health. Watch what you eat. 45% of what is in my body. Aside the grace of God. Is fruits. Fruits. Eat fruits every day. You don't bring my meal without putting fruits. It doesn't have to be too expensive. Go for the fruits can afford. It can be purple. It can be orange. It can. Be. I mix everything from apple to this to that. Sometimes not even blended. Just cut it. Eat it like that. Be healthy. You see somebody bounce says grace is grace sir. in that grace there is wisdom I will tell you the truth from 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 massive rap of fufu to massive rap of a widow from massive rap of a widow to massive rap of Amala what, 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 who, is, who is pursuing you a pastor will prepare food and you put six eggs Eat the egg, eat the yolk. Eat the yolk. 
eat the yolk yolk that anointing destroys you are eating it when you abuse your health don't forget this when you abuse your health you cut short your ministry a sick man can do ministry well when you abuse your health you cut short your ministry take it to your health how do you take it to your health mind what you eat rest Genesis 49 15 and he saw that rest was good rest this work does not finish this work does not finish rest the work doesn't finish Mark 6 31 Jesus said to them come let's rest a while rest don't forget I said what take it what you eat how many of you notice that all the time Jesus will perform miracle he doesn't use meat he use fish you think he was stupid he didn't multiply he didn't multiply meat he multiplied fish huh? and he multiplied he gave them fish and bread see how balanced the diet is when you carry so much cholesterol in your system there are people today with their hand they are killing themselves with their hand you get down to the north and a pastor go and buy kilishi kilishi eat things that are exposed to the sun eat things that have been infested with flies and tomorrow you become a victim of attack the pastor will buy full pack of juice and put straw not glasses just put straw the lord is god <laughs> He said, I remember when I was suffering, but now I'm blessed. You are dying! You are dying! I can't remember the year in my life that I drank juice. 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 Not freshly squeezed fruits. Juice in pack. In can. Stop drinking juice no because some of you, you like command you like commandment you don't like advice you like command stop drinking all those packed juice canned juice am i communicating stop it it's not a gift anybody who buys it for you lay hands on them and tell them to take it back because members like buying pastors things that will kill them you walk to me and you give me a big bowl of cutting because as far as you are concerned, I will sweat till I die. You come straight and you carry a pack of seven adet. Keep quiet. Seven adet. Six are kill. Am I communicating here? Rest. Rest. You know, people say, Apostle is busy back to back. <laughs> oh God. The way I rest. When I go abroad to minister, you don't come to see me in the room. I rest. Let me give you a counsel. Anytime you feel sleeping, sleep. It doesn't have to be night. Don't wait in night to sleep. Anytime you feel sleepy, sleep. Stop hitting your head and you are fighting it. When it comes, that's nature. Go somewhere, put sleep. When sleep comes. Anytime. You know what Smith Wigglesworth said? I was reading Smith Wigglesworth's book. He said, anytime my body needs rest, I give it rest don't wait till night to sleep if it's two o'clock in the afternoon that it comes sleep your body is saying it needs rest one time I was I, I just felt that the work was much I said I'd have to I have to be I was doing two countries a week one day I finished a meeting I got back I was I was physically okay the grace of God was sustaining I was physically okay and I said, and the Lord asked me, he said, why are you jamming your meetings like this? I said, because I need to do this work. He said, okay, you want to finish the work? He said, yes, okay. 
you will end up finishing yourself and the work will continue once once and now around the nations of the world if i minister in a place like nigeria i'll give you this on the weekend yeah i'll finish my bible study my church will not die because of outreach i'll finish my bible study in church before i go and do program many years i missed many bible studies and members were not growing attendance was growing members were not growing i wish you are following i'm talking about so i do my bible study i address it myself if i'm ministry on a tuesday hard must be abroad within the country hmm. from wednesday to the program let me bless my own people first let them grow you can't be solving people's issue and your house is on fire let me teach them the basics of christianity let me teach them let me not judge my pastors who are also following me my senior pastor they'll leave their bible study no do your bible study then come let the people grow i was talking to somebody take out time rest sleep your body needs it somebody will finish vigil around six you don't rest you count 39 you don't rest you are going for housewarming you don't rest and guess what you know all of these people they'll be clapping they'll, they'll be there clapping yes daddy yes daddy, ah, daddy ah, this is grace on you is too much ah this is grace on you are ah, god your energy if you are not careful you cross the bloodline and at that point you are left to yourself when that man that woman they are calling mommy now when anything happens that she becomes a widow not one person will greet her if you abandon her, abandon your children wicked sets of people your help rest rest there are some times when you, and you know when you want to rest you rest well you, your phone cannot be with you and you're breathing that you are resting your brain has to rest rest the mind must rest am i talking to somebody rest so you are not late to rest take heed to your finances your finances plan your finances plan you are not a showman don't buy suits on credit plan don't buy suits and shoes on credit those that bring them to you and say pay later they are they are killing you tell them i don't pay later be careful of your finances if god has already given you access as a man of god to go into a certain level of business it is okay but there are four or five businesses a man of god must be careful of land land business a pastor should be careful why he enters such transaction when they want to start selling land two networking business bring five people bring six people bring seven people bring eight people when you bring eight people you will not that business is not good for a pastor i'm sorry if you are doing it too. i'm talking to those networking networking ah there's this thing we are doing now if you bring this thing you drop the money they will now start giving you more money they start giving you this you bring okay the more person we bring uh, this is my code once you use my code they, 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 they. sir those businesses those businesses number one benefits them number two they are not reliable because those people they depend on permutations permutations mean they depend on expectation if the dollar is high this will happen if the naira high this will happen if the pound goes up that is not a business that is fixed it's built on permutation so if anything happens and the expectation goes off and you as a pastor the people you have some of you will bring your members can you see how you don't see as you get sense visa racket the pastor should not be involved you are not the embassy the consular is not your son in the lord visa racket ah, nah, i'll give you visa I, I, i've seen people i've seen people who can somebody told me say apostle it's a germany you see there is this thing i have you can get um a toyota camry for half a million you can get this one for a million what you do just get like 20 of them you pay for like an amount they cannot tell your members or any pastor when it was done i was looking i said have you finished say yes 
I said, we do the business. Is it you or me? He said, you do it. I said, me. I said, you, you don't have respect. Huh? I should start selling cars. Because you are a contact. I said, no. There are certain things I don't put myself. Number one, these things, are, I don't have total control. I don't have total control over shipping dates. I don't have total control over custom clearing. I say anything that I'm not in full control of, I don't embark on. I need to be in full control. That's the kind of business you should do. What you should be in full control of. Hello? Take heed! Don't live above means. Don't buy keyboard on credit when you have only few members to, that, that love music. Your members, they are so passionate about prayer. What they need is bell. Amen. Don't go and borrow money for keyboard. <laughs> Take heed to your management of people. Take heed to your management of people. Take heed. Do not do everything to keep a person. Anybody you do everything to keep, you will lose. Those of you who want to do a ministry, yes, somebody is a keyboardist in another church. You collect him and put him on salary. You will lose him. You will lose him. You collect a drama, you put him on salary. You will lose him. In Europe, that is how they survive. You see a keyboardist, he plays keyboard for four churches. He plays for this from six to seven and goes somewhere for them. Train your own person. Train a person. Train somebody. You have children, biological. Let them learn the keyboard. Let them learn the drum. Let your children learn. Then somebody becomes arrogant and, and you are doing everything. You are, you are pampering him not to live. You are not yourself. Going out of your way. Even having issues in your marriage because you don't want to lose somebody. They will surely go. They will always go. You must understand good management of people. Are you following what I'm talking about? And one of the ways to manage people, you must understand not your management of the external people, management of your team, your team. Take it to your preparation for heaven. Heaven is the ultimate. After all of this, you can't miss heaven. After all of this, purity is the main future. All we have done 